Hey, Roswell Community Church, uh, Matt Miller here. Well, I am coming to you after a pretty historic day yesterday uh, when the CDC announced um, that going forward, uh, there will be uh, no longer any reason for those who have been vaccinated to be able to be wearing masks anymore. Uh, I think that surprised a lot of people and uh, we knew it was probably coming at some point, but um, it is certainly confirming of a lot of pieces. As you, uh, those of you who were part of the member um, the member town hall, you know that we were heading towards a transition to um, optional masks on uh, on June 6th. Uh, in light of uh, the, the declaration and the clarification from the CDC, uh, we actually feel like it, there's no real reason for why we would not begin uh, those that process this Sunday, uh, which would be just a couple of days from now on on May 16th. So uh, starting this Sunday, uh, we will be moving to an optional masks on Sunday morning in the sanctuary and in the facility with the exception of the kids hall. Uh, for all the kids and uh, for those that are volunteering and serving in kids, we are going to uh, maintain uh, masked uh, service and uh, we want to make sure that that's uh, clear for those of you that are serving and uh, we're gonna we'll keep reevaluating that uh, over the course of the next few weeks but wanted to make sure that that was super clear so for kids and for those that are volunteering we will keep uh, masking uh, but otherwise in the facility and in this in particular in the sanctuary we will not be doing masks anymore uh, starting uh, a couple days from now so uh, it's a great day I mean it's a it's a pretty significant um, moment. I, I, again, I think we all knew it was going to be coming at some point. I think probably for some of us, this feels like, oh, finally. And for others, uh, it probably feels like, whoa, whoa this feel, feels too soon. It feels uh, rushed or it feels uncertain. What about, what about, what about? And again, there's a lot of things to still uh, get unpacked as to how this plays itself out. But um, one thing that seems clear is that if you are vaccinated, uh, and again, that's if you've finished the full vaccine treatment, that it is indeed safe to be able to be in a context like a Sunday morning service without your mask on. If you haven't been vaccinated yet, um, then it would the encouragement by the CDC and uh, would be to, to remain masked, which is why if you're not ready or if uh, you haven't finished your vaccine protocol, and um, we encourage you to, to stay masked and uh, to be able to, to continue and engage in worship in that particular way. But um, so if you um, want to come on Sunday morning, uh, we'd love to have you. Just know that uh, we will be having optional masks in the service and uh, looking forward to, to normalizing together. I, I do want to remind us once again that this is an opportunity for us to continue to love each other well in the midst of changing contexts, uh, maybe some, some variances on beliefs or on, uh, on how things have been processed or done over the course of this, uh, this uh, COVID season. Um, but this is an opportunity for us to continue to love one another well, to not... to um, um, to not to not judge one another, to instead to actually be able to move toward, towards one another in love with open hearts and trusting God that, that we all have the dignity of our own decisions and the opportunity to execute that and live that with our own faith, uh, listening to the Spirit and loving one another. That's what marks us as believers. We want to continue to be those kinds of people. So uh, look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Uh, looking forward to being able to, for those of us who are vaccinated, to not have to wear masks and to be able to worship God um, in a, in a refreshed and, and new way. And we look forward to being able to see you then, know that you're loved, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in a couple days. Have a great weekend.